Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Eva. I make videos all about sustainable, low waste living, veganism and minimalism. And today I'm going to talk to you all about my secondhand shopping tips and some of the things that I've got secondhand and sort of talk you through what I look for when shopping secondhand. But first of all, I want to give a big disclosure in that secondhand shopping has become very popular and vintage shopping. I feel like vintage is a bit different because it's a bit more um, expensive than your regular charity shops but a lot of people rely on charity shops to buy clothes they cannot afford to buy sustainable brands they can't afford to buy new clothes so be mindful when secondhand shopping I know that not that many people are secondhand shopping during lockdown but be mindful when you are that you're only buying what you need as to not drive up the demand and drive up the price which makes something that people rely on unattainable and leaves them in a bit of a puddle let's get straight into it first one is material i like to look for natural fibers like cotton and linen and that's basically it hemp even i've actually found some bamboo in a charity shop before and yeah i like to look for very natural fibers i think that's more sustainable it's better to wash um you know just be wary when you do wash synthetic fibers to make sure that you wash them in a pillowcase or a guppy bag if you have one um but yeah understandably if you do buy them that's fine just make sure you wash them responsibly and for the second tip is fit so i actually have a really interesting thing about this <laughs> so i really struggle to find jeans sustainable jeans are just way too expensive for me so i like to buy vintage jeans so all of my denim is vintage because denim is inherently bad for the environment and what I do is I get jeans that fit me around the waist and around the hips and around my butt. That's all I get to fit me. If they're too long, if they're too wide, I can fix that. You know, so I get them to fit here and then I simply taper them. If you want to know how I taper my jeans or sort of modify my clothes, comment down below and make a whole video about it. Um, but yeah, always buy clothes that fit you. Don't buy clothes that are too big or too small unless you want it to be that way, kind of like this cardigan, um, because you're probably not going to wear it. And like I said before, you don't want to be driving up the demand and the price of secondhand clothes because some people do really rely on that. So kind of like with my jeans, I bought some vintage Levi's because I know that they're high quality. They're durable, long lasting denim. And also I've bought quite a lot of secondhand sports gear. Um, kind of like this North Face jumper here. I paid £2.50 for this in a charity shop and then I saw the same one in a vintage shop in Bristol for £25, which I just think is extortionate and I really don't like it when shops like that rip you off. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I got this jumper and I've had it for probably a year, two years now. Although it is synthetic, it is great quality. It literally hasn't changed in the two years I've had it and it was already pre-loved and I wear it to run in, to ski in, to wear in the winter, literally cycling and everything. I, I wear it all the time um, and it's still in such great condition. So buying higher quality, more upmarket brands secondhand means that they will last longer. You pay less money for them. They may be a bit more expensive than some of the other like high street, like H&M and Zara tops or jumpers that are in the charity shop maybe sort of five pounds as opposed to two pounds or something like that but i think it's definitely worth it for it to last longer because otherwise you end up buying kind of five jumpers that fall apart <laughs> where you could have sort of five jumpers for two pounds that fall apart equaling ten pounds or you could have just bought one for five pounds and you save money by just investing earlier which i think is very important next tip is versatility I usually only buy basics secondhand because I'm very picky. So a few of the basics I always buy secondhand is things like plain tops. I've actually had this, I think I paid 50p for this. This was originally Zara, although I cut out the labels because I just don't think it's important. Just a plain cotton stripy tank top that I've had for like two and a half years now that I love. You know, basics are a really great thing to buy secondhand because there's just so many of them and you can pick exactly what's right with for you without investing sort of you could pay two pound for a t-shirt instead of paying 20 pound for a t-shirt that's sustainably and ethically made and then my absolute favorite thrifted piece in the whole entire world is this skirt um it's completely buttoned down so it's annoying when you sit down because it unbuttons a little bit <laughs> but i got this in a vintage shop oh 
for about 10 pounds i think three or four years ago and i love it and you know there are some pieces in your wardrobe that just never leave none of my clothes are that old because you know i used to be a lot bigger so i have had to get new clothes and i had different clothes in and stuff like that but you know this is definitely one of those ones that has stood the test of time and i love it so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below any video suggestions for me and any of your favorite secondhand shopping tips just let me know i also often post on my instagram about video requests and what things people want me to make so you can always dm me if you don't want to comment and subscribe if you haven't already like 98 percent of you aren't subscribed so it would really be appreciated <laughs> i'll see you in the next one bye